In a serene hospital nestled in the heart of Greece, a ten-year-old boy named Michael found solace in the presence of his new surrogate brother, whom he affectionately named Milo. Both boys shared a rare and debilitating blood disorder that confined them to the hospital's care. The hospital director, Dr. Nicholas, had become a father figure to them, providing not only medical care but also emotional support. Michael, despite his frail condition and reliance on crutches, displayed a remarkable intellect, especially when it came to fixing complex machines with ease. Dr. Nicholas, recognizing Michael's extraordinary potential, arranged for him to attend a prestigious medical school for gifted children in New York. Though this meant leaving Milo behind, Michael promised his brother that he would one day find a cure for their condition. The separation was difficult, but their bond remained unbreakable, strengthened by their shared struggles and dreams of a normal life. Twenty-five years later, Michael, now a renowned scientist, publicly declined a Nobel Prize for his groundbreaking work with artificial blood. Despite its success in saving countless lives, Michael viewed it as a byproduct of a failed experiment and therefore unworthy of accolades. His colleague, Martin, stumbled upon Michael's secret experiments involving vampire bats from Costa Rica. Intrigued by their unique genetic traits, Michael believed that splicing their genes with his own might lead to a cure for his condition. Michael's experiments began to show promise, particularly when a test on mice yielded successful results. Encouraged, he decided to take a risky step, testing the serum on himself. Before proceeding, he confided in Milo, who, despite his own suffering, agreed to fund Michael's ambitious endeavor. Together, they equipped a private mercenary vessel in international waters with the necessary equipment, ready to embark on a journey that would change their lives forever. The experiment on the mercenary vessel had an unexpected and violent outcome. While the serum did work, it transformed Michael into a creature of the night, driven by an insatiable thirst for blood. In his frenzied state, he slaughtered the crew, unable to control his newfound vampiric instincts. Martin, who had accompanied Michael, was horrified by his transformation but remained unconscious during the chaos. As Michael regained his senses, he was filled with remorse and horror at what he had become. Erasing all evidence of the experiment, he contacted the authorities and leapt overboard, taking with him the remaining vials of the serum. His journey had only just begun, and he was now faced with the daunting task of controlling his monstrous nature. Returning to New York, Michael discovered that his transformation had granted him extraordinary abilities. He now possessed superhuman strength, speed, reflexes, and echolocation. Despite these newfound powers, his thirst for blood was a constant threat. He relied on artificial blood to maintain his humanity, but its effects were diminishing over time, leaving him in a constant struggle against his darker instincts. FBI agent Simon and Al began investigating the mysterious deaths linked to Michael. Meanwhile, Milo, desperate for the same cure, confronted Michael, only to be rejected. Michael, knowing the dangers of the serum, refused to subject his brother to the same fate. This decision fueled Milo's anger and resentment, setting the stage for a conflict that would test their brotherhood. As Michael continued his struggle to maintain control, a tragic event occurred at the hospital where Martin was recovering. A nurse was found dead, drained of her blood, and Michael feared he might be responsible. Attempting to escape, he was cornered and arrested by the FBI. In prison, he was visited by Milo, who revealed that he had taken the serum and was responsible for the nurse's death. Milo, now a full-fledged vampire, urged Michael to embrace his new identity and powers. Michael, horrified by what Milo had become, managed to escape and fled, discovering in the process that he could also fly. The brothers were now on opposing paths, each driven by their own desires and fears. Milo began to monitor Martine, knowing that Michael would eventually seek her out. Martine, sensing the danger, evaded both Milo and the detectives to reunite with Michael. As Michael's dependence on artificial blood grew, he realized that his time was running out. Each dose now provided only a few hours of stability. Desperate for a solution, Michael sought out a new lab and began developing an antibody against vampirism. His plan was to use it on Milo and, ultimately, on himself, to end their cursed existence. During this time, Michael and Martin grew closer, finding solace and love in each other amidst the chaos. The FBI's investigation intensified as they uncovered footage of Milo's attacks. Fearing that the vampirism was spreading, they released the information to the media, causing public panic. Dr. Nicholas, recognizing Milo on the news, pleaded with him to stop his rampage. Enraged by what he saw as favoritism towards Michael, Milo attacked Nicholas, forcing him to call Michael. Michael arrived too late to save Nicholas, who succumbed to his injuries. Meanwhile, Milo also targeted Martine, wounding her severely. As she lay dying in Michael's arms, she kissed him and ingested some of his blood, unknowingly setting the stage for her own transformation. With Martine's death and his own bloodlust at its peak, Michael was driven to confront Milo. Summoning an army of bats, he engaged his brother in a fierce battle. Using the antibody he had developed, Michael managed to inject Milo, 
ending his life peacefully. The victory was bittersweet, as Michael mourned the loss of his brother and the love of his life. In the aftermath of the battle, Michael was left to grapple with his identity as a vampire. Now a fugitive, he had to come to terms with his new existence while avoiding capture by the authorities. Despite the chaos and loss, he found a sense of purpose in embracing his vampiric nature, determined to use his powers for good. Unbeknownst to Michael, Martine had survived and was now undergoing her own transformation. Awakening with glowing red eyes, she set out to find Michael, their bond stronger than ever. Meanwhile, Adrian Toomes, also known as Vulture, appeared in Michael's universe, proposing an alliance to form a team. The future was uncertain, but one thing was clear. Michael's journey was far from over, and new challenges awaited him and those he loved.